Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. On uh, this video, I've got uh, two or three minutes of my new 4070 Ti uh, in action. I'll go through my settings and I'll also talk about uh, why I decided to buy this video card. So you'll notice now the card's getting in the mid 60s, uh, lower 70s over the city. This is kind of the lowest performance that um, I'll see in flying around in the environment. This is over the Syria map. Um, and as you can see, it's up above 80 now. So the card really does pretty well. I cranked the settings up as high as I could um, to where I kind of get down into that 60s, 70s range over like the toughest terrain for the card to render. And then that ensures that um, you know it never gets so bad that it gets choppy and um, also as you can tell now it's maxing out at 100 frames per second no issues with this setting. so I'm gonna walk you through this settings here in just a minute or two um, enjoy a couple minutes of me zipping around and I'll go through settings and also uh, kind of my thought process and why I decided to buy a 4070 Ti I'm gonna run you through my settings real fast. I've got uh, textures high, terrain textures high, civilian traffic's low, water high, visible range on ultra. You can go a little bit higher. I uh, haven't tried extreme yet. Not sure I'm up for that. Heat blur is high, shadows high. Uh, the resolution, my monitor's a 3440 by 1440, and then I have uh, another monitor for my MFDs. Um, let's see. MSA, I have that set to 4X. Uh, you can use MSAA or SSAA. I haven't played around with SSAA yet. Uh, it sounds like that um, can give you a pretty good performance hit, actually. So I'll get around to trying that sometime soon. Uh, the depth of field I have off. Um, motion blur is off. Clouds, ultra, that's as high as they go. Um, SSLR, these are the uh, local reflections. So like reflections in the cockpit, things like that. Um, when you have a bunch of aircraft around, like on the deck of the carrier, that can give you a pretty big performance hit. I leave it on. Um, and then SSAO, this is the uh, um, ambient occlusion, which I have no idea what that is, but I turned it on. All right, clutter, grass, forest visibility. I pulled these two back a little bit, and I also pulled back preload radius. I noticed that my memory on my computer was maxed out with those cranked all the way up at... Uh, close to the 32 gigs of RAM that I have. So I pulled those back a little bit just to give me some room. Um, Anisotropic filtering, 16X, you want that all the way up. There's very little performance hit with it and it does help the uh, picture quite a bit. So I'm gonna walk you through my thought process and why I decided to pick up a 4070 Ti. Uh, the main reason is I needed an upgrade. I built my DCS rig probably in 2016, 2017 somewhere in that range. I used the best stuff I could buy at the time. Um, and I really don't regret doing that. It's, it's, you know, I've gotten several years of use out of this thing and I'm throwing another card in it and I'm going to get a few more years out of it. Uh, but the specs are an i7 8700K, which I've since overclocked. Um, let's see, 32 gigs of RAM. And then I had a 1080 Ti that I bought new. So I was looking at used stuff. I was looking at the 30 series cards. Never could quite get myself to pull the trigger. Um, one big reason I decided to buy the 4070 is they are available now. You can get them for MSRP. 
all day long. Um, brand new card, three year warranty. That's important to me as uh, I, my original 1080 did actually kick the bucket and I had to exchange it for a new one under warranty. So, um, you know, that was a very gently used card. It just one day decided it didn't want to work anymore. So if you're spending $800 on something, it's nice to have a warranty to ensure that you at least get a few years out of it. It looks like in the 2023 and beyond newsletter, DCS announced that they are going to bring DLSS, which is NVIDIA's uh, kind of performance enhancing technology to the game. And this looks like it's going to be pretty significant. Um, I think glowing AMRAM shared this image of DLSS being used with DCS. And it looks like, uh, if you haven't seen this already, some very significant performance increases from that technology. And, you know, as far as AMD cards, I've never had one. Um, I did kind of look at them. This announcement kind of sealed the deal for me, though. It does say uh, that they're following the completion of DLSS, we'll investigate uh, FSR for AMD GPUs. I assume that's uh, kind of the similar technology for them, um, but it sounds like that could be a long way off. They say we will investigate, so maybe not a sure thing. So I decided to stick with NVIDIA. Um, I mentioned earlier I was looking at used cards, going on Facebook Marketplace. You know, uh, used stuff, it, they're just hard to find used. They're either um, newer high-end cards that are almost the same price as new, or it's a scam. You know, if you're looking, if you know somebody that you can buy a card from, maybe that's a good deal. Uh, but I didn't find anything on Facebook Marketplace that I wanted to buy. So, uh, looking at the 30 series cards, uh, there was a time last fall, I think, when you could pick up a 3090 Ti for 1100, which I think is the MSRP. I kind of thought about that. Uh, that's a lot of money for a card. I was really hoping not to spend more than a grand. Um, th that those deals are gone anyway. Uh, here's a new 3090 Ti. It looks like 1800 bucks for new used 1150. Um, great cards, but very expensive still. All right, so the 4070 Ti um, actually looks like it stacks up really well compared to that 3090 Ti. So this is a 16 game average, uh, 1440p. This is by the Hardware Unboxed YouTube channel. Looks like the 3090 Ti actually kind of loses slightly to the 4070 Ti. Um, I use 1440p. I noticed at 4K, they did another one. It looks like the 3090 maybe have a slight edge on the 4070. So they're comparable in performance. They kind of swap back and forth depending on what game you're playing or resolution. Um, all right, and finally, one, one reason I decided to get the 4070. The 4070 is a lot more efficient. If you look up here, the power of this thing, uh, 4070 is using 258 watts. The 3090 is using 438 watts to give you the same frames per second. Um, that actually is kind of a big deal to me. My uh, power supply is 750 watt, and with the 3090, it uh, looked like I may have had to upgrade that power supply. Uh, whereas the 4070, no problems. Plugs right in, no, no issues there. Um, and another reason is just all that heat. Uh, you know, I'm not sure. I can't remember what the 1080 draws, but uh, that thing would heat up the room after two or three hours of playing DCS. So more efficient is definitely better. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. I'll leave you with a quick clip of a Hornet trap on the carrier just so you can see how the card does there. Uh, that is a pretty challenging environment for GPUs. There's a lot of stuff going on on the deck. Um, Overall, I don't think my $800 would have been spent uh, better anywhere else. The card performs like I expected it to, and uh, hopefully it keeps me in the game here for a couple more years.